and welcome back to what Adrian thinks. It's me, Adrian. Today, I'm going to show you how I make a delicious. Hmm, what are they called? God, darn it. Mm. Hi guys, and welcome back to what Adrian thinks. It's me, Adrian. Today, I'm going to show you how I make these delicious cuts of beef that you. <laughs> I don't even know what to call these things. Hey guys, it's me, Adrian. Today I'm going to get right into this video because I have to get a shout out to not only my subby of the day, but my now 155 subscribers. Thank you so much for your comments. Honestly speaking, thank you for your comment. It means a lot to me. Now guys, if you missed last week's video for Inga's potato salad, finish watching this one and then go check her out. She did an awesome job. But today, we're going to make this delicious apple steak, butter steak, blade steak, whatever you want to call it. Stay tuned for this video. Hi guys, and welcome back to What Adrian Thinks. It's me, Adrian. Today, I'm making apple steaks. Apple steaks are delicious. You might also know them as butter steaks, but whatever the name you call them, they're a very inexpensive cut of beef and they are delicious. And today I'm going to prepare them in these oven roasting bags. Uh-huh, not just for turkeys. So stay tuned, I'll meet you down. Okay guys, so I have you pointed down into the cooking bag. I already have a heaping tablespoon or spoonful of flour inside my bag. I have some baby carrots. Here I have some baby potatoes, onions, and peppers. So that's going all inside the cooking bag. Yes, quick and easy at its best. All right, so the seasoning begins right inside the bag for this recipe. So I have some olive oil. And I have some fresh minced garlic. It's gonna give a nice Spoonful of that right on in. And, and I have some crushed ginger. This is a crushed ginger paste. About that much, about half of a tablespoon. All right, so. Now, I'm gonna use some of this Perfect Pinch Italian. Just gonna unscrew the lid here. That's about as much as I wanna go. It's probably about a half a tablespoon. That's, you know, like I said before, dry herbs pack a punch, so you really don't want to go too heavy on the dry herbs. Okay, it's just some regular table salt. And that's about all I'm gonna do for that. And then I have some, you know what it is, adobo. Okay, generous amount of adobo. I have some dehydrated soup greens, dehydrated vegetables is all it is. You know, just give a good dose of that. They make everything taste good. And this is just some ground black pepper. I have a better feel when I can just kind of put it in like that. And I have some garlic powder. Yes, we use garlic, uh, minced garlic, but I like a little garlic powder in it as well. And you already know. Mm -hmm. What is it? Onion powder, yes, come on, onion powder. And last but not least, some granulated beef bouillon. This is the Nora brand, I like this brand better. Um, I ran out of umami, but if I had some, I would use the umami um, in place of the ground bouillon. All right. So all that in. Now I want to show you what our butter steak, apple steak, blade steak looks like. So this is what it looks like. They're kind of thin. 
You see all that cartilage going in the middle? Yes, that means goodness. Goodness gracious, that's going to be good. All right, so I'm going to put these all in the bag. All right, to the side. Now remember this flower in here and all our veggies. And all you're going to do is just toss them all around, doing so like this. And I think I'm going to add a little sasson to this. All right, so I'm going to add two little satchels of this tropical sasson. Going to open them up and pour them right on in. All right, so I'm going to get back to mixing. And I'm just going to lay these on a large cookie sheet inside the bag. They stay. Once I feel like I have them mixed up enough. Potatoes in here. Everything getting all this goodness. All right, I think that's good. So when I come back, I'm gonna have them laid out in a tray and I'm gonna show you what you do next. Okay guys, so I have a large cookie sheet or baking pan and all I'm going to do is sort of begin to lay the steaks out so they're just even on one layer. It's okay if they overlap a little bit, just depending on how many you have. That may be the case, it may not. And um, so I'm just going to put them in here, vegetables all around them. Don't worry about any of that because everything is going to cook together and get nice and tender and delicious. All right, so while I do this, I'll be back. All right, so these are all laid out. Every bag of the cooking bag comes with a little oven proof tie. And you just wanna fold the corners, fold, 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 kind of roll. And you just wanna pick a place where you wanna tie it at. It's got a little nodule there, just stick it through. Pull as tight as you can. Okay. And this smells really good. Okay, guys. So my oven is set for 375 degrees. If your oven runs really hot, then use the package instructions and go by 350 degrees for your setting. Okay. This is going in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes. And it may go as long as an hour and a half, but you'll know because they'll be tender, you can just feel it right through the bag. Now, before you put it in the oven, you have to make some slits. So just randomly poke some holes right in the top. Make sure you don't go too far to the side. And that is it. This is ready for the oven. So we'll see what they look like in about an hour and 15 minutes. Hi guys, so an hour and 15 minutes and it is done. This delicious apple steak, butter steak. Listen, I'm gonna point you down so you can just see the first look, okay? Stay tuned. So these have actually cooled for about 20 minutes and so I can handle it. And I have some kitchen hands too, child. I can touch about anything hot or cold, it don't matter. <laughs> So I had potatoes in here, carrots, and just look how tender. I really don't even need the knife. 
Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, you know what's next. The taste. Okay, guys, so it's done, plated. It is delicious. Look at that. Mm-hmm. About to get into it. Mm -hmm. Let me just give you a close-up of this beef. I don't know if this is translating well on camera, guys, but it is so tender. Pork tender is delicious. Okay, enough talking. so good potatoes the potatoes just soak up all the juices from the beef and the seasoning so good mm. make sure you try this recipe it is so delicious so good apple steak butter steak blade steak whatever you call it make it okay and use that cooking bag one of the best things you can do everything comes out tender so delicious so you're going to want to make this i'm telling you all right so listen if you're a subscriber make sure you hit that like button drop me a comment down below and if you're not a subscriber make sure you hit that go ahead hit that subscribe button hit like and drop me a comment you could be our next featured subscriber on our next video mm -hmm. thanks for watching mm -hmm.